On location, night interiors are one of my favorite scenes to shoot. Why? Well, because it's almost like being in a studio. You have near complete control over all of the light and you don't have to compete with the sun. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to create the night look as well as the three strategies that you should be thinking about anytime you light your night interior. Before you start lighting, remember that the most important thing is to determine the mood and the look of your scene. Obviously, we're talking about a night scene here, but is it a romantic scene just after sunset or the pitch blackness of midnight? Or maybe the pre-dawn light just before sunrise? Once you have the look figured out, you can start developing your lighting approach. At night, the sources of light are smaller and more directional, so it's justifiable to light your night interior with hard directional light. Of course, that doesn't mean that you can't use soft light. You can, and I often do. But if you want that hard light look, night interiors are a good place to use it. Another thing to keep in mind is the illusion of night is best created by the angle and distribution of light. At night, the angle of light tends to be less frontal. Instead, it comes from a three quarters back position and you'll fill in from the front. Lighting this way helps push more the image into shadow, emphasizing that it's at night. Typically, it's really easy to determine where your light should be coming from. Usually there'll be some sort of light source in the scene, a lamp, a candle, or maybe there's a window in the shot and you can play it as moonlight or a street light shining through. Once you've decided on the look and the approach that you're gonna take for your night interior, it's time to start lighting. And here are three strategies to help you get better results from your night interiors. Mm -hmm. 